Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday to all. I'm Mo. I'm here at Camp Fit Pro in Markham, Ontario, Canada, and I thought I'd spend lunch with you once again. So we have exciting news for you regarding Camp Fit Pro 2019. Well, we've got lots of exciting news, but I thought I'd share um, something that's near and dear to my heart and answer your questions, uh, both questions I've received um, up to today, as well as your questions from today. So I hope this is going to be an interactive lunch time. I was going to say lunch hour, but it'll be a lunch 15 with you. So please, uh, if you're live joining me, do ask questions about anything relating to Camp Pro 2019, our incredible event taking place in Toronto, August 14th through the 18th. So before I get into the subject matter of today, I wanted to first of all tell you that in case you missed the news, CanFit Pro 2019, we've extended the deadline for early bird. You can save 30% off registration or even more important, $140 Canadian if you register before Tuesday, May 22nd at midnight. So I had a lot of people say to me, oh my gosh, when's the early bird? And I'm like, where have you been? So listen up everyone, save money, get your first choices, register. And here's what I wanna to talk to you about today. The event that is shaping the fitness industry globally. So what I wanna talk about is women who influence. I've had so many questions and really, I'm happy to receive them because um, I created this event six years ago and it came because of a need and it also became something that I wanted to do to pay it forward. So the question I always get is, well, why did you start Women Who Influence? Well, I realized that I was, I was creating my career in the fitness industry and, you know, moving up in the industry in my positions that I hold that less and less women were alongside me in those C-class leadership positions. The other thing I found was the women that I admire and helped me become who I am today were, you know, for reasons of their own, sitting back and standing in the background. And I really believe that women who have helped me shape my career, and for those who have risen to the top in any industry or profession, deserve the opportunity to help others, celebrate and be celebrated or recognize for the contribution that they've made, and more importantly, share their lessons, both lessons that have led them to their success, lessons led from experiences that we'd otherwise call failures, um, but in all of those experiences, the opportunity to help others, mostly women, who in the fitness industry don't necessarily feel that they have a place at the table or a voice or the resilience to stand up and to speak their truth. So I started Women Who Influence. There's power in that name alone to give women the opportunity to receive invaluable information from incredible speakers that we've all admired to also learn from peers that come out to the event and to learn through networking and to also get together as women because you know what until women who influence to my knowledge while there were a few women's seminars within curriculums at conferences there were never a women's only event and so once we discovered women who influence i can tell you this it kind of caught on there are over five countries that now offer within the fitness industry a similar event because of Women Who Influence that started here at Camp Fit Pro in Toronto. And um, while we offer women panels throughout the year at regional events, this is the main event of the year. This year it's taking place on Thursday, August the 15th. And there's some power in that number. One in five, of course, add up to six, but there's even more meaning there. The question that I have next that just came in is, can you tell us more about the theme, love and leadership? Well, in influence, it comes from a place of love, not ego. 
So to influence, or that is to um, impact something or someone, you need to do that from a place of personal power, from knowing your why, and from loving what you do, and wanting to share that with other women and men and your peers in the industry. So it's easy to say it comes from a place of love. And of course, when you influence, you lead. And leadership is the new skill set in 21st century professionals. You know, up to this date, we always thought, you know, it's all about the initials behind your name, how many skills you create in the doing of what it is that you do. But more so today, it's the being. We are human beings that contribute and to help shape our industry. So love and leadership, together that makes sense. But if you look up the number six, it is the most powerful single digit number. And in numerology, and I, I was remarked by this um, and found it to be quite remarkable, that the number six in numerology means nurturing, how perfect for women. Properly nicknamed, it is the motherhood number. There you go. The most important influence of the number six is its loving and its caring nature. It's all about teaching others, which is influence. And here's a quote from the numerology work on the number six. No family or community can function without family or community. So it's not about you as an individual, it's the greater we. So in looking at the number six being the theme this year, it made perfect sense to me that as women, it is about love. And because of what we're creating here at Women Who Influence, it's about leadership, both your own and helping to steer the ship to lead others forward along their path. The next question, what can people expect at this year's event? Well, in addition to the invaluable learning from our featured speakers, and the insightfulness from our second annual trailblazing panel, which is speakers that are women that you may not even know. They may have been <clears throat> new in the industry or they may have been around forever, but not necessarily in our circle of influence. So we have a global representation of speakers this year. Uh, in addition to our featured speakers and our trailblazing panel, we have special guest, our keynote speaker, Ashley Collingbull, joining us for a special interview. So only those that are women of influence are going to get that insight. As in, as valuable is the presenters and their stories that they'll be sharing in a TED Talk fashion will be the breakout sessions and the networking. And this is where the gems of insight happen. And you can't Get that from reading a book, listening to an audio, checking it out on a social feed. You can only experience it by being there. And I can tell you right now, the event sells out. Other than the first year when no one knew what it was, it has sold out every year. And this year, we're squeezing a few more in because we know that it will reach 300 plus women. So please, you've got to register sooner than later. And here's a tip. If you register for the main conference, so thinking about it, and you're saving, what is it, $140 by registering before next Tuesday, then you've covered the cost of attending Women Who Influence, which is even less than $140. It includes a healthy lunch, cool swag, invaluable learning, and of course, you get to meet and acquire an incredible uh, sisterhood that you will always be able to rely on and connect with throughout the remainder of the year. What has, uh, how has the fitness industry changed for women? Well, let me say this. It's changing for the better, but we still have a lot of work to do, ladies and gentlemen. We need to help women find the place, a place at the table, the C class or the leadership avenues and positions. And Women Who Influence has been very significant. I receive stories all the time about women who have left that session, have gone out, they picked up the phone to express gratitude to those who've helped them along their path so far. They've written a letter to their boss, they've changed their careers, they've 
decided to write a book, they decided to become a speaker, or they've simply gone back and, and defined their why and lived their purpose on purpose. So that's number one, we've helped women become better versions of themselves. But since the conception of Women Who Influence, we've seen now women's events pop up all over the world, not only in Canada with our events here at Camp at Pro, but in the United States, and as far as Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm so excited to say that it's all happened because of the feedback and the experience of Women Who Influence. So we've given more women the opportunity to learn and to be in these environments. Since the conception of Women Who Influence, there's also been the, the development of the first association for women in the fitness industry. This is popularly known as WIFA, Women in Fitness Association. So I am a happily a board member of this and um, I think everybody on the board or almost everybody on the board has been speakers at these women's events. So we now have our own association, which is certainly in good timing. So that's just a bit, but what I'd really love to say is there's just more opportunity for women than ever before. But I can tell you this, there is far more opportunity. We just have to ask for it. So as I always like to say, since I was a kid, it's not about being bossy, outspoken, chatty Cathy, or stubborn. It's about being strong to stand up, speak out, and share your story. Where do you see women who influence going in the future? Here's my big, bold vision for women who influence. It will be the women's event within the fitness industry, bar none, right here at CanFit Pro. There'll be other events that will shape up I could see almost like a world tour because the fitness industry supports each other, but the event to be at will be at Camp Fit Pro in Toronto at our annual international conference. So there you go. So you want to be part of that. And more importantly, you want to say that you are part of the road to Oz. You are part of it. You are one of the characters along the road and you help to shape the path for other women to join you. We have five generations of women in the fitness industry to date. And the one thing that all generations want and need is development. And this event will help women get the development that they, we, as women in the industry need. So those are the questions that have been addressed so far. What else do we have? Any other questions? The question, so you, the question that I know that you're asking, just begging to ask, is how do I register for this event? Well, first of all, you can go online and find out more about it on page 53, and that will be the description of the event. You'll see the speakers, there's my camera. So you can find out more about the advanced price and the on-site price. You don't wanna pay more, so register advanced. But you can actually buy and choose your seat at the table in the ballroom. So please, the earlier you register, the more chances you get to choose where you wanna sit, front of the house, back of the house, with your girlfriends, by a table. So again, I'd encourage you to do that. Can we register as a group? Yes, as a group of six, because there are six women at the table. And there's even sponsorship opportunities. If you're part of an organization that'd like to be recognized, you can actually sponsor a table of six. And you can even bring your company with you and you can even exhibit who you are. There's opportunities that way. Reach out to Canfit Pro if you're interested in more information. And you can register. The feed will give you the link to register uh, at Canfit Pro so we can register directly for the event and or you can add it to your registration for the main conference. So there's two ways to register. So I think that means, um, unless there's any more, you can always ask questions. We'll come back to you in the feed and we'll answer all of your questions. I hope you found that helpful. I look forward to seeing you there. I'll be co-hosting this year's event with Dr. Jillian Michaels, the uh, doctor of happiness, fellow Canadian, and please stay tuned for more information. Also, check out the feed. We're gonna try to connect a beautiful Facebook Live that was taking place on Mother's Day with two of our speakers, 
Jeanette and Kyla Novak, who shared their wonderful story about what influence as women and what they're most excited about for this year's event. Check it out and I'll speak with you and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.